China's J-35 stealth fighter, palm-sized radar signature shock, China has made a pretty stunning claim about its new J-35 stealth fighter, saying its radar cross-section is actually smaller than a human palm. If that's accurate, this would put the jet in direct competition with the US F-35, marking a major leap in stealth design. In this episode, we'll break down what this palm-sized claim really means, how China says it achieved it through metamaterials and design, and whether this is genuine innovation or, well, just some ambitious messaging. The palm-sized RCS claim. Chinese state broadcaster CCTV reported that the J-35's radar cross-section, or RCS, ranges between 10 and 100 square centimeters, a range that would suggest exceptional stealth if it's accurate. RCS measures how detectable an object is to radar. It's really about visibility, not physical size. For a little perspective, the F-15 Eagle shows roughly 25 square meters, the F-16 Falcon, about 5 square meters, the F-35 Lightning II, about 15 square centimeters, so that's golf ball sized, and the F-22 Raptor, an astonishing 1 square centimeter, about the size of a marble. If the J-35's lower estimate proves true, it could actually rival the F-35's radar in visibility. However, this figure likely represents forward aspect stealth, where radar reflections are minimized head-on. Aircraft are far more visible from the sides or rear, so the palm-sized reading might not apply in all directions. Verification remains impossible. China keeps detailed RCS data classified, and independent testing has not been permitted. Unlike the United States, where the F-35's approximate RCS is publicly documented, the J-35's figures exist only through state media. This makes the claim both a technical statement and a strategic signal, projecting confidence in China's maturing stealth capabilities, even if the exact performance remains uncertain. Stealth Design and Metamaterials CCTV attributes the J-35's stealth to two primary factors, its aerodynamic shaping and proprietary metamaterials. The aircraft's fuselage is crafted with smooth surfaces, blended edges, and angled panels to scatter radar waves away from their source. It also conceals weapons internally, preventing radar hotspots caused by external mounts, an approach mirroring the F-22 and F-35. The use of metamaterials is what makes the J-35's claim particularly ambitious. Traditional radar-absorbing coatings dissipate radar energy as heat, metamaterials go further, manipulating electromagnetic waves themselves, bending or cancelling them, to minimize reflection. China's media describes these materials as homegrown composites engineered to absorb radar signals across multiple frequencies, though no public data confirms their broadband performance. Questions remain. Do these materials remain effective across X, L, and S-band radars? Are they durable enough for carrier operations, heat, and moisture? The absence of technical specifics leaves much to interpretation. Structurally, the J-35B, the carrier variant, evolved from the land-based J-35A. It includes folding wingtips, corrosion protection, and reinforced landing gear for China's Fujian carrier. Now such features typically add radar reflective seams, so retaining stealth at sea represents significant engineering effort. Compared with the J-20, whose canard four planes raise its signature to an estimated 100 to 1,000 square centimeters, the J-35 seems purpose-built for stealth optimization. Together, its refined airframe and metamaterials demonstrate China's growing sophistication, even if the actual radar data stays behind closed doors. China's messaging openly pits the J-35 against the US F-35 Lightning II, calling it potentially stealthier. The comparison is powerful because the F-35's radar signature, around 15 square centimeters, has become the global stealth benchmark. Yet, while the F-35's numbers stem from years of documented testing and active deployment, the J-35's remain, well, theoretical. To equal the F-35, the J-35 must sustain its low radar visibility in real-world flight while maneuvering, carrying weapons, and facing varied radar frequencies. It must also prove its stealth holds from all angles, not just front-on. Until such data emerges, the claim remains unverified. The F-35 enjoys another advantage sensor fusion. 
its integrated radar, infrared, and data link systems create unmatched situational awareness, something Chinese media haven't detailed for the J-35. Even if radar cross-sections are similar, the F-35's battlefield intelligence network remains a higher bar. Still, the psychological effect of China's announcement is undeniable. By publicly suggesting the J-35 could rival the F-35, Beijing signals confidence and technological parity. While the F-22 Raptor still leads with an estimated one square centimeter signature, the J-35's emergence illustrates how quickly stealth expertise is globalizing, reshaping perceptions of aerial technology leadership. The J-35's palm-sized radar claim blends science with symbolism, a confident declaration of progress in stealth design. With advanced shaping and metamaterials, China positions the jet among next-generation fighters. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.